How to use monday.com for marketing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can get started with monday.com to use for marketing. So let's get into it. Now, monday.com is a project management workspace and it allows you to manage your projects and for you to be able to communicate with your team effectively. It has been proven that it, this kind of platform is going to improve the efficiency of your work because it allows a organized space for all of your workers. So to get started, now we've already signed up on monday.com and once you sign up, you will see on the left side, you have this panel. In this panel, you have your homepage and your my work section. In your my work section, you will only see things that you are currently assigned to. And then with every account, there is a main workspace. So currently our main workspace is empty and you can get started with building your marketing workspace directly here. But a simpler way to build a workspace is usually to create a new one. The reason for that is, is because if you're building a workspace for a team or for your business, you don't want it to be your main workspace. You might want it to be your secondary workspace. Now, within monday.com, first you can create workspaces. Within workspaces, you can build multiple different boards and add multiple different members. However, one thing to note is that any of the work that you do within one particular workspace is not interchangeable into the other workspace. So if I build a new marketing workspace and I want to import data into my main workspace, I cannot do that. So whatever workspace you want to do, you can just click on add a new workspace and you can name it by the business title. Usually that is probably the best way to go about building your workspace. So let's say I have a company named Vivian and I'm going to click on add workspace. Now I've built a separate workspace for my company and then I can add a description for this. Now, after I've added my basic description, you will see you will have your board section, member section, and then permissions. So the first step to get started is usually for adding your members or your coworkers. So you can just click on members over here and then invite them to your workspace simply by adding their email addresses. Now, after that, you want to actually get started by building your workspace. So there are multiple different templates available on monday.com, or you can even get started from scratch depending on what you prefer. So what you want to do is you can click on add from templates or start from scratch. We're going to take a look at the different templates and I'll show you guys how you can optimize them as well. So you will see on the left side, you have your browse by category and you just click on marketing over here. Once you click on marketing, you have different types of marketing templates. You have creative assets, email marketing, product marketing launch, whiteboard, Monday marketer, communications and PR, internal processes, marketing strategy, client campaigns, campaign planning, contact forms. So you can see there are multiple different boards available, high level marketing budgeting, marketing team planning, single marketing project. So you can build a board accordingly. Now, this is going to be one board for my entire marketing strategy. So for this, I might want to use a high level marketing budget or something like a marketing team planning. So let's take a look at this template of marketing team planning. Now, once you choose the particular template that you want within marketing, because marketing is a very generalized term, if you're doing product launches on Instagram or social media platforms, then you might want to go with the template of communications and PR, because that is going to be a better fit for how you want to progress further with the marketing campaigns of your particular business or project. Now, there are also some other templates available, but we're going to just get started with whatever one we like. So you can choose the one that you like. The customization steps on all of these are going to be the same. I'm just going to choose this template and click on use template on the top right. And now monday.com is getting started with building the template boards. Now, these boards can be filled with a lot of information and you don't necessarily have to fill out each specific column. So as you guys can see, our boards have been created. Now, these are two boards. So you guys can see you have a weekly to do board and then you have a high level marketing plan. Then you will see that is present within a folder. So in this folder, we're going to have two of these boards and now I might want only one board, so I can click on the three dots beside the title of this particular board and then delete the board if it's not relevant to me. 
now. The first thing I'm going to do is get started with managing the grouping. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this group over here, which is our template group, which is just to teach us how to use the template. And I'm going to click on delete. And once I've done that, you will see two or three different types of groups have been created this week, next week, backlog and done. So this is a weekly to do list where people can actively manage their current marketing campaigns that they are working on. Now, this is a primary list view. And within your primary list view, you have these lists and then you have the columnized information. So you have the type, the source, the status. Now, if you want more information about a item and you want to list more information, you can scroll to the right and you can see we have due dates, we have priorities, estimated time that is required. We also have asset files. Still, if there is more data that you want to incorporate within your particular items, then you can click on add column and you can choose the type of column you want. Let's say it's going to be a text column and then I can rename this column to owner's note or whatever type of information you want to display. You can display it over here. Now, this is just one way to view items. These are based on weeks. Now, if you want to change your scheduling and you want to make this monthly, you can click on the group title and we can add October november and then we also have our next two groups which are backlog and done so let's say i don't want a backlog group i can click on this group and delete and then within the done group let's say i want to rename this to completed now just like that i've grouped my tasks now if you want to add your own tasks all you have to do is input your task over here within your particular group so let's say it's going to be contact Instagram influencer. Now, so I've built this new task, but this task does not have a lot of information within it. And for a marketing team, it's really essential to have a lot of information. So you're going to click on open item. Now, once you open item, you can click on file and click on add file to add your relevant file within your particular task. Then you will also see add view and you can add a particular type of view as well as the fact that you can write updates. So if you're only creating tasks and someone else is going to be assigned to complete the task, you can add more details about the task, how it's meant to be done, as well as a checklist. So to add those, you can click on checklist on the top right and then you can add bullet points or checklists that are steps within your particular task. Then after that, you can click on the definitive columns present within the list view to choose the priority, the time, the asset file, and you, you can import your asset file from multiple different sources, such as from a link, Google Drive, Dropbox, from Box, OneDrive, or even from your webcam or computer. Now, after you have learned how to build groups, and if you want to build more groups other than the one provided by the template, you can click on add new group, and just like that, you can build a new group. Let's say this is going to be rejected marketing ideas. So after that, I can add the rejected ideas over here. Now, after I've built my listicle view, I can click on the calendar view within this template and view the calendar view. Then you also have Kanban views. Now, Kanban views allow you to view a particular type of status. So you will see on the right side, you have the Kanban column, how you want your columns to be categorized. Let's say I want to view it by priority. So these are items with high priority. These are items with medium. These are items with low priority. And then we also have blank items where they don't have any kind of priority. Then let's say I want all columns to be shown, or maybe I only want the status and the owner's name to be displayed within my Kanban view. So you can optimize this view depending on how relevant some information is. For some people, adding the uh, assignee's name or the owner's name is not going to be that relevant. For other teams, it might be more important to add the source or the date or the priority. So according to your personal preferences, you can optimize the Kanban view. Now, after you've built your basic list view and your Kanban view, you can also go on ahead and click on automate on the top right. Now, monday.com allows you to add amazing automations, and this can be really great, especially if you're working on ongoing projects that have updates all the time. 
So this can be a really helpful way for you to receive notifications, for you to automate a lot of the work that is usually messed up during communication. So to do that, all you have to do is you can see these are some pre-existing automations that have been added. So let's say I want to click on over here. I don't like this automation, so I can turn this off, but I can click on automate and let's say I want to upgrade this. So let's say I want it to be three days before a date arrives. So instead of a date, I can add something else. So let's say I want it to be a timeline like this. Three days before this particular timeline arrives, I want to notify and you can customize your notification. So whatever type of notification you want to add, you can add that. And then you have your owner. So instead of notifying the owner, you can add a particular person. You can add yourself, a team member or a particular person within your workspace. And you can click on update automation and then your automation will be updated. And now your automations will be built accordingly. Now, monday.com has a amazing automation center. So if you take a look at your automation center, you can go on ahead and build different types of automations within monday.com as well. So in this way, you can set up your basic marketing boards on monday.com. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.